I thought I wanted to show you how I insert elastic and this is the method that I use for the carry skirt so first of all just make sure that you have some space here for the elastic so depending on how wide the elastic is you need double so you can fold the edge around and the edge needs to be tight around the elastic but not too tight so you don't want to pull it too much but also don't want it to be too loose because then it will just twist around inside so just tight enough first of all I'm just gonna turn it with the wrong side facing out it's just a little bit easier and I have some yarn here and then I need my needle and thread I think that wide elastics are best for the waist. Just be aware that with tube tops you need to be able to hold the top up over your bust. So it just needs to be a little bit tighter, I think, than around the waist. So this one measures 5 centimeters less than my waist. I measure it when it's just um, flat, not stretched. And as you can see, it's not that much smaller than the actual crochet. Um, you just need this to be at least smaller than the crochet because you need to be able to stretch this. So if it's bigger than the crochet, there will not be any stretch. So the smaller the elastic or the bigger the crochet, the more of these um, wrinkles are you gonna get on your crochet. So first of all, we're going to shape this into a ring. Make sure it's not twisted. And I just like to find the most straight edge of these and place it over the other like this. And then you're just going to start sewing through both pieces of elastic. Up. And then down. And don't worry if it doesn't look good because this is not going to be visible. Usually I just sew back into the stitches when I've come to the other side. I just sew back to um, just secure that, um, that thread so it doesn't come undone. So. This is the wrong side, and this is the right side. So we need to fold it down in this direction. So I turn it the other side. Then take the elastic and place it like this. I think just about just about this is good. It's tight but not too tight. Yeah, I think this is good. And I'm just going to start here where my seam is. I take some yarn and it's a lot easier to use either a thin needle or a needle that is pointy instead of flat. This is flat but it's thinner than my other needles so it just makes it easier to go through the stitches. So we find the first stitch. So I just take the stitch where the seam is and it's important that you don't go through the crochet. You only go in the surface of the stitch. And then we just tie a knot here. Now we are ready. So the good thing about crochet is that you are able to see your lines. It's much easier than with fabric, I think, because I know which stitches to go into. I know that I go here in the space between two rows. So I go through the stitch and then 
in the surface of that space between two rows. Or you could go through the row, it, it depends on how big your rows are. But it's just a good guideline to have these rows to guide you so you don't accidentally um, make it uneven. So I just go through like one loop. So go through the stitch here on the edge and then maybe just like one loop. This is why it's important that your rows here don't have any increases or decreases. Um, because this way you know that every time you go through a stitch here and you go through the same stitch down here, when you do that every time when you go all the way around you are sure that you have the same number of stitches here as you have here. So that's very important. So at one point you might notice that you have a lot of fabric here and when that happens just pull the elastic and that makes it easier to get a clean line here when you fold it over. So when you are close to the end here just make sure to go through the loop just to tighten the yarn end and then you can weave in that yarn end as well. If you do this in this side and then in the opposite side you make sure that the fabric stays even on both sides and that can also help with um, elastics that tend to, tw tend to twist this can also twist in the opening, but because it's been sewed together it doesn't happen that much and it's easier to twist it out again. If it does uh, start to twist, you can just sort of pull it like this and it should straighten out. So as you can see, this is quite invisible. You, you can see that there's something more compact in the edge, but it's barely visible and I really like this style, so I hope you like this video. See you next time.